All right, guys, this is going to be a quick review of the Ego 31 inch extension pole. And this is to uh, extend your uh, pole saw. Um, so I've got a pole saw that I'm getting ready to use to trim this tree right here. All that overhang. And what I've had to do in the past is use a ladder to get up and, and get me some more uh, reach. Well, I got tired of having to drag the ladder out. Plus, you're on a ladder. It's unstable. Uh, you, you'd be a lot better off having your feet planted on the ground. So I, I went ahead and got this extension. We're going to give it a shot. They call it a 31 inch. I'm going to measure. I'm going to put this post all together, and we're going to see what it, the length is without the extension. Then we're going to put it together and see what it is with the extension. I don't know if 31 inches is actually from one end to the other so whenever it telescopes in <clears throat> do you lose you know two or three or four inches we're going to find out and then we're going to try it out we're going to see how it works on the uh, pole saw so let me get this thing out of the box and uh, in fact i'll just go ahead and get this thing right out of the box right now we'll see what we got here and I like my Ego stuff. Uh, <clears throat> Ego seems to make some good stuff. So this is this is what you got. One end is just like it is on the on the saw. So the cable, I mean, it's all built in. It doesn't it doesn't come out centered in there with that bushing right there. And like I said, if you try to move that cable, it does not move. This end, that, that cable's way down in there. So that's what I'm wondering. Let's measure this thing and see. Because I'm wanting to know if it gives an actual 31 inch of extra reach or if 31 inches is what this is. And this is measuring it exactly. 31 inches. Well, I mean, it's 31 and a quarter. So I'm guessing, what, you know, you can see how deep that goes down in there. That's at least, at least three inches, maybe even four inches of depth. So I don't think this is actually going to give 31 actual inches of reach. Okay, so here's the pole saw without the extension. Let's go ahead and measure this. And what I'm going to do is just go straight to the tip of the blade all the way to the end here. So we got right at 89 and a half without the extension. Now to put the extension in, you just loosen your T-nut. Let me get the camera put down. Push here, pull out. That is. Make sure it goes all the way to that red line when you put it in. Okay. And again, we're going to go straight to the tip. And we got right just just under 118 inches so let's see what is that uh 28 about 28 and a half versus 31 is what they advertise this extension as being so that's about what two and a half inches shorter than what the which is fine i mean 28 and a half inch longer extension that's over two feet of extra reach you're going to have 
that you normally wouldn't have. And what I do a lot of times, if I need that extra foot, I grab my little foot uh, stand right there, and I'll just throw it down on the ground and I'll stand on it. But, uh, okay, let's go ahead and get the camera mounted up. And we're going to do some trimming. Always make sure you've got uh, chain oil in the reservoir. And we'll do some tree trimming. I'm going to mount the camera up to the shaft and we're going to do some tree trimming. Definitely would not have been able to get to that with a, uh, without, a, without a ladder. Uh, a worthwhile investment. Like I say, this Bradford pear you got to keep them trimmed up, otherwise they split. And uh, some of these branches was just two to three feet higher than what I was able to uh, get to. Even with the extension, I got up my little step stool. So anyway, if you guys are thinking about getting this extension, if you've got branches that are two to three feet higher than what you're able to get to from the ground, 
you need to consider this extension. Now this also has a five year warranty the way most of Ego's products uh, have. And the part number to this is EP7500. So uh, I'll put a link down in the description to where I bought this. If you're needing this uh, extension pole for your pole saw, then uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a, I think it's, it's very, definitely a very handy item to have when you're trying to get that extra two or three feet of reach that you need. Anyway, I'm out. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next one.